Hey, beautiful family. Hope y'all are having a great afternoon. So I started making this video and then my thumb accidentally hit the little stop button. And so I have to redo it because anyways, it's just faster to redo it rather than piece it all together. Um, I hope y'all are having a good Friday. Um, I am up here at Hobby Lobby. I just ran in there and I got some wrapping paper. I'm trying to get, you know, Christmas stuff done. Um, I've had a, a crazy busy week. Obviously, I started my new job and everything is going wonderful with that. Um, it's just a, a complete 360 from the place that I had just came from. And uh, we actually moved into a brand new building Um actually this afternoon we everybody moved their stuff into it a brand new place um and you know while while it's exciting for us to be in a new place i'm really excited for the owner like her and um her husband they're just like great people and i'm just like so excited for her and her business um so yeah just like you know getting acclimated in the new place and everything else i have going on in life but i wanted to hop on here and chat with y'all just about a couple things that, um, that I don't know. I've just, I've been talking to some of my girlfriends about and something kind of cool that happened. Um, was it last night or night before last? I want to say night before last. Um, so, you know, and they, this may not seem real big and crazy to y'all. It's not some huge sign in the sky, you know what I mean? But it just goes back to, what I've kind of been touching base on for the past couple of weeks about how, you know, the Lord is, um, with you in the smallest of moments yet. Yeah, they're so big, you know, um, always with you, you know, yes, we're looking for the Lord's return. We want to go home, but he's with you now. You can enjoy him now. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Nothing can snatch you out of his hands. And, you know, he talks to you. And so like, you know, what happened was just really cool. Obviously, like nothing is a coincidence with God. And the more we really start to understand that, um, the better off you'll be because I just, I used to find myself, it's like, you know, the Lord speaking to you, but you always doubt it. Um, but I've just learned there's just no coincidences with God, especially when you're, um, you know, discerning, you know, his voice. And so anyways, not to ramble on too long, but, um, you know, this may not seem like something crazy, but the Lord really does speak to you. He's in the, he's in the, you know, he's in all the nooks and crannies. He's always reassuring us. He's just the sweetest father. Um, he's with you in the smallest of moments, um, everywhere you go. And he's always listening to you. And, you know, he's not some far away distant God and he's always comforting us and reassuring us. And so, you know, we know the Lord's coming. We see it in the word, right? He gave us his word, um, you know, in the Bible to go off of, but we see it in the world around us. We know it in our knower, like, because obviously the, the Holy Spirit resides inside of us and he speaks to us. We are children of the light. And so that day will not, you know, catch us off guard because we are his children. We are children of the light and not of the darkness, right? So, um, we know he's coming, but the flesh is always trying to doubt what the spirit is saying on the inside. And the more you grow in the Lord, the more you will recognize that and you'll learn to understand that. Um, and I catch myself doing it a lot. I know the Lord is coming. We don't need signs. You know what I'm saying? Like we just know it. We know he says, you'll know the time and the season. He says, for the time and the season, brethren, you have no need that I write to you because you will know perfectly. And so we don't need signs like we know he's coming, but he's so sweet and he's, a, he's just such a good God. He's comforting and sometimes he just knows that we need that reassurance. And so catch this, right? Like, so it might seem silly, but it's not. Um, I was laying in bed, I hopped on Facebook and I, as soon as I popped on Facebook, I saw a friend that had posted a status that said, I just picked up my wedding dress. And obviously she was talking about her wedding. She just picked up her wedding dress. She was excited. She posted a status. And in that moment, when I read it, it made me think of the rapture. It made me think of, you know, cause the Lord refers to us as the bride. 
And so it just made me think of the rapture, like, you know, oh, I just, I wish I was just picking, you know, I almost feel like I'm picking up my wedding dress, you know, getting ready to go home to be with the Lord, right? And so it made me think of the rapture and there I go, just like longing to be with the Lord. We're all ready to go. Like we're so excited. And so here I go in my flesh, like as a whiny little child. And I'm like, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I was like, and it's every time I'm like, I don't know. He probably don't want to hear me whine like this, but I was like, Lord, you know, if you really are, it's so funny to me because it's like, I know he's coming for us. I know we're the generation, but you always just want reassurance, right? That's just how we are. Um, so I was like, Lord, I was like, if you are really, really coming, like if you're coming, if we're the generation that's going to see it, like we, if it's us that that's going to experience the rapture of the church, I was like, you know, can I please just um, see just another post about like a wedding dress on my Facebook. And, you know, it's not like everybody on my Facebook's just getting married. You know, it's not often that I really see that on there. And so, I kid you not, I just, I scrolled two times, right? With my thumb, I scrolled two times. In less than five seconds, I come across this post of another girl who posted like all of her pictures of her wedding. She was in her wedding dress. And it's just like, and that might seem silly to y'all, okay? But it was like in that moment, I just knew that the Lord was reassuring me in a way that I asked, you know? And it's not like I go around every day like testing the Lord, like, oh, well, if you're really coming, show me this. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that. It's, I just found myself in a spot where I was just like really longing for some comfort and some reassurance, you know? Because it's like we see all these things, we're still here, and he's with you in the smallest moments. And a lot of the times he will speak to you in just the smallest little ways, but yet they're so big. Um, and it really just encouraged me because it was like, literally the moment I asked, it was like, boom, like confirmation. Here's your answer. Yes, daughter, I'm coming. And it was just really honestly, it was mind blowing to me that you know, and it shouldn't be mind blowing because we know he's coming and we know he talks to us. We know that he's with us, but it was just like really cool to have him answer me because there's a lot of times where I'll ask something and I don't hear from him right away. Um, and so I just thought that was really cool. I wanted to share that with you guys because like I wouldn't, you know, I'm not, okay. I'm not the kind of person that is just like going around chasing signs and wonders here and there because guys like I've, I feel like the Lord has brought me a long way in this walk, if you will, in the past three years. Um, you know, you have to be really careful running around like, you know, seeking signs and wonders and just chasing light, you know, chasing, um, you know, license plates. Like people do that and they'll take anything and trying to turn, they'll try to turn it into something that it's not. And I, I feel like a lot of people fall prey to that. They don't mean that they're doing it they don't, they don't realize that they're doing it. And sometimes they don't mean to, but the enemy will really take our vulnerable, you know, weak spots and try to use it. And so he'll be like, Oh, and he'll make you think that, you know, you're receiving a sign or something. And, you know, I think a lot of us fell for that whole, what was it? I forget. It was like two years ago. We all fell for that, you know, uh, rapture channel where she thought, she knew the day of the rapture and the day came and everybody thought they were seeing signs and stuff and it came and went. And, uh, you know, a lot of us, we have to learn the hard way sometimes. And, um, and so I just really like, I feel like the Lord has really brought me a long way. So I'm not, I'm not out like seeking signs and wonders. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out running around like a hoodlum, if you will. I kind of feel like, like the way that I was years ago, um, out of ignorance really. And, um, so I'm just like at a place in my life where I'm like, I'm just, I found a lot of peace in my identity in Christ and knowing that he's good and that his promises are true and that he doesn't break his promises and that he's with us and he does speak to us. And when he says he's coming, he really means it. And the more these, we see these things happen around us, like the more we can see, like, it really is us. Um, and, you know, knowing that the Lord showed me the rapture of the church when I was a little girl and I didn't know what it was. And so 
it's just like, okay, I, I don't need anything else. I, the Lord has shown me enough. You know what I mean? I know that he's coming. I know he's good. I know the, his character. I know his nature. Um, he says we're not appointed to his wrath. He says that the, the rapture of the church is called the blessed hope. And it's called the blessed hope because the world is going up in flames. And there's a lot of craziness that's going to happen. Seven years of tribulation is going to start very soon. And so if the rapture of the church was not our... If we were to go through the tribulation, why would the rapture of the church be called the blessed hope? He is our hope in a lost and dying world. Um, you know, people can mock and scoff and say that we, you know, all you're trying to do is escape. Well, you dang skippy. Yeah, I'm trying to escape. <laughs> because people have no idea like what the tribulation is really going to be like. And so, you know, I, I almost think that people like want to go through the tribulation. It's so weird to me. It's like people wouldn't last a second. Like they better be happy that the Lord is coming to snatch us up out of here because like people have no idea. It's just crazy. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm, I'm at a place now where it's like, I'm just at peace and I don't need to be going out and chasing this and that and this and that. Like I know my father's coming for us. But it's just like in that little tiny moment where I was just like, Lord, <laughs> he was just like, here you go. Like, and it was very comforted and encouraging to me. So I wanted to share that with you guys that the Lord just confirmed to me that like, yeah, it is us. And like, we know that. Um, but that was just really cool to me. Um, I also kind of just wanted to touch on really quick the community post that I had made um, yesterday, I think, in regards to how it just really feels like there's a calm before the storm, if you will. And I did not recently start feeling this way. Um, the reason why I bring it up though is because, so I've not really talked to a whole lot of people about this. I maybe talked to Chrissy about it. Obviously you guys know she's my best friend. If you don't know who she is, um, I'll share her channel. But um, I was talking to her about it and I had been feeling this way that there's, it just, Yes, there's a, a lot of craziness happening in the world, actually more so now, like, than ever, right? Like, record-breaking this and that and this and that, all these things. Mark of the Beast system forming before our eyes. Um, you know, we have, oh my gosh, have y'all seen, like, what's happening in the in the Midwest? I mean, they had, you know, those terrible tornadoes. And they're, they're like, this is, you know, this is just unlike... <laughs> What were they saying? It was, it's very, um, very weird, I guess they were saying in December for one and two, like they just don't see these things happen a whole, whole lot. Um, obviously, yeah, like they have tornadoes, but the timing and the, the record breaking this and that, they were like, it's just weird. Um, it's unusual. That's the word they used. Um, and then they had this huge like wind storm that like came through, right? With like a hundred mile per hour winds. It was something completely separate from like the tornadoes. And you have all these volcanoes popping off. Like I could make a separate video with all the things going on, right? So um, <laughs> there's so much going on in the world, right? It's insane to keep up with the amount of things that's happening that are pointing back to prophecy, right? We are literally on the verge of World War III. You have Ukraine um, and Russia. Okay, they're down each other's throats. You got China and Taiwan. You have Israel and Iran. I mean, all three of those could pop off at one time and it'd be catastrophic. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, there's tons of things happening. But it's like, that's in the physical. I'm talking about in the spiritual. There is there's a calm happening and people who are not of Christ cannot see it. They see a lot of craziness happening in the world and they're just lost. They have no idea, but I've been feeling this calmness, if you will, in my spirit, something different. And I'd kind of kept this to myself, but I was talking to, um, a lot of you guys know Mariah Jones. Um, she's, she has a channel, but she hasn't posted in a very long time. I don't know that she'll ever be back. Um, she's not called, she just doesn't feel called to YouTube right now, but she's got a channel if you want to check her out. Um, she's got some awesome videos that are already up from the past. 
again her name is mariah jones but i'm in a group chat with her and a few other girls and um it was crazy cra it was crazy she, it was crazy she said this in the group chat she was like um you guys think or kind of sense or feel that there's almost like a there's almost like we're in a, a calm before the storm and i was just like girl that, that's crazy you just said that because I've literally been feeling the same type of way. And what is insane, it's just like, almost like the Lord was speaking, okay, in that moment. Because she had spoke what I had already been feeling and had been going through. And I'll explain. So, she was like, last year, you know, like 2020 was off the charts as far as like dreams and visions and, you know, the Lord just like here's this, here's that. Like, it just felt like, and this is what she was saying in 2020, it was just like, so the Lord was speaking so loudly and it's not like he's not speaking now, but it's just like, he seemed so active in a sense of like, he was given the body of Christ, like so many dreams and so many visions. And I'm not saying that that is like completely slacked off, but I know that like her and I are not the only ones that are, that are kind of not um, having any of those things right now. It's really slacked off. So she was like, yeah, cause she did. Like if you go and look at her channel, like she was having dream after dream and it's her testimony is amazing in itself. She was uh, an agnostic. Um, and the Lord gave her a dream and long story short, she became a believer and she fell into law and then came into grace. And it's like so amazing. She's, she is so amazing. But, um, she was having dream after dream and visions and then 20, 2021, like here towards the end, it just kind of just like this year, it just stopped. And, um, and so when she said that, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I went into this whole spiel about how I agree. I, I feel it too. There's something different. The Lord has stopped these things for a reason. Um, if you guys notice, if you go and look on my channel, recently okay we'll say in the past uh almost a year i have not had a dream from the lord i have not had a vision from the lord okay when i first started this channel i oh my gosh like i had i had my first vision when i basically started this channel and i had maybe i'd have to go back and write them all down i could probably go through them you know all six or seven maybe visions and then like all kind of dreams and stuff but this year almost going on a year it's all slacked like I haven't received anything and um I mean you guys remember I kind of went through this learning experience where I was having these dreams and stuff and these visions from the Lord and when he would slack off for a couple weeks or so I didn't feel close to him I'm like oh my gosh like I went through this whole thing, this whole learning experience where it's like, okay, just because you're like not receiving a dream or a vision, it doesn't mean that the Lord's left you or he's any less close to you. He's always with you. Like nothing's changed. And, uh, I, he, I really had to come to a place where I was like content and at peace, not receiving those things. Well, anyways, so I'm obviously fine. Like I, I don't need to receive any other dreams or any other visions. Like until the Lord comes because like, I just know he's coming. He showed me enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm grateful that, that he gave me those gifts to receive those things. And that I've been able to share the things that the Lord has showed me with like millions of people. You know what I mean? And this channel has reached and no glory to me, but this channel has reached over 8 million people and it's all glory to him. He drew me to it. You know, he gave me the dreams. I'm just being used as a vessel but it's like, it's slacked off. It's stopped. And it really feels like, and we, you know, with Mariah saying this and, you know, experiencing it myself. And that's why I, I made that community post to like, kind of ask you guys, Hey, is this something that y'all are feeling too? And y'all are like, yes, something's different. I just feel like in the spirit, there is a calm before the storm and what I mean by that is like I just feel like um we're really just coming to a close the Lord has used and he's he'll, he's gonna use us as vessels um until the trumpet sounds 
but it's like, I really just feel like we've transitioned and I know I keep using that word, but we're just transitioning right now. We're coming to a close. We're rat like things are raveling up. You know what I mean? Like tying up loose ends and the Lord sent us on a mission, if you will, to warn the people and to give them the gospel, but to like warn them of the things to come and to either get on the train or don't, you know what I mean? And you know, he sent us on a mission to do these things and we've done what we are supposed to do. And it's like, now we're kind of like at the bus stop, just waiting any second for, for our father to come, if you will. And I really sense in my spirit, that's what's happening. Um, almost like a well done, good and faithful servant. Um, obviously we're going to hear that when we get to heaven, but also feel like that's kind of why I personally have not felt led to just jump on every single day. I just felt like last year was so busy spiritually and now he kind of has us in a place where we just need to be at peace and rest in him, keep our eyes on him as the storm progresses until he comes. And I just really feel like we've done the majority of like what we were supposed to do and we really are about to go home. And I say that with like full confidence. Um, I really feel like we're that close. Um, that's not just a coincidence that Mariah said that. Um, another thing I just thought was a little crazy and I'll let you guys go here in just a second. But another thing that I thought was really crazy is we were talking in the group chat and, um, talking about, you know, how me and Mariah had met and I had watched Mariah's video, her test, her, she had a dream from the Lord when she was an, an, an agnostic and she saw the tribulation and she heard the trumpets that will sound during the tribulation. So not the trumpets that sound for the rapture, not what we're going to hear, but the trumpets that sound in the tribulation and I had watched that video and listened. She, she had, she, there was a, a video that she said to go watch. She had found a video on YouTube that kind of depicted like what she heard. And, uh, it's actually, if you go and type in on YouTube, war of the worlds, um, trumpet sounds, you'll hear exactly what she heard and what I heard. So she had this dream and like, I didn't know her at the time. And then it was like a few months later, I had a dream of the second coming. I don't know if y'all, my, 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 uh, VIPs, you know what I'm saying? My MVPs, <laughs> the ones, the ones of y'all that's really been around for a while. Y'all remember that dream that I had when I woke up, I was a, I was a hot mess. I just woke up. I was freaking balling. Um, but I had a dream of the second coming. Like I, I saw missiles going off and I wanted to talk about this real quick. I rewatched that video the other day, um, just to kind of refresh my memory of the things that I saw. And, you know, if you guys want me to link that, I can link that if y'all like to see that. Um, it's still mind boggling to this day that like I saw that stuff, but I was in this big city very first thing that I saw, I, um, I saw like a, a bunch of like almost chemtrails, if you will, that was like flying uh, through the air, like some going this way, some going this way. Saw a bunch of chemtrails and I knew it was like it was missiles going off. So a bunch of missiles and rockets had just went off and I saw the chemtrails from it. It was very like a doom and gloom, very dark and gloomy. And then um, I the, the next thing I saw was a bunch of angels pop up. And they, they grabbed their trumpets and they started to blow these trumpets. And I promise you on everything, okay, on everything, the same trumpet blast that Mariah heard was the same trumpet blast that I heard. And it was terrifying. I mean, terrifying. And again, like if you go just type in on YouTube, War of the Worlds, I think that's what it's called. I guess it was a movie. If you type in trumpet sounds or whatever it's exactly what I heard without the pitch change without the pitch change and it's exactly what she heard and you'll see why it was extremely terrifying and actually I had not listened to it in like a year or so and I just went back and like re-listened to it and automatically like I was bawling crying because 
it's like I could just say I just it's just like the fear of the Lord and, and it's just the fact that like this is I'm telling you it was terrifying anyways so I hear these trumpets go off I, well I see the angels they blow these trumpets I'm hearing this terrifying sound and it it says like you know the angel angels will um blow the trumpets in the in the tribulation and it's not good like <laughs> you don't want to be around for that and um obviously I saw like I saw the Lord coming on the clouds. Y'all remember that? He was dressed in red. Um, I saw white horses on each side of him. They had riders. You know, they were coming in the clouds. He zoomed right over me. Um, I saw a tsunami. But two things that I was thinking about in this dream. Number one, I saw like missiles and stuff like going off. And I think it's very interesting that we're seeing all of these countries down each other's necks. Like I just posted a video on my Instagram of missiles and military equipment being moved close to, I think it was, I think it was Ukraine's border. Um, and it just, it don't, it don't look like drill stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially with all the tensions that's been going on. Um, all these talks and rumors of war like it's getting really serious right now iran israel um china taiwan ukraine russia you know our president he's not making it any better that's another story for another time but i just find it very interesting that we're seeing all these talks of war right now and literally the very first thing i saw in that dream were these missiles that had just been fired off. And um, so I really just feel like <laughs> we are right there. Another crazy thing I just wanted to mention real quick, and I'll let y'all go because I've been rambling too long. Um, something that really struck me. If y'all go back and watch this, or if y'all remember me saying this, um, remember when I told y'all that in the dream, I called my mom so apparently I had an Apple watch and I called her three times and she didn't answer and I thought it was really strange like very weird um, almost had a sense of like something had happened to her but I wasn't sure at the time um, but I called her three times on the phone in that dream and she didn't answer and fast forward to now my mom obviously is no longer with me she's in heaven now and I really feel like the Lord had put that in that dream for a reason almost just like a time marker um the Lord doesn't do anything by accident um he always shows things for a reason even when sometimes he shows you something and you don't really understand why in that moment I really just believe that was just like a, a time marker almost, if you will, and kind of like, hey, I'm going to show you this now, but you won't understand it. And I don't know. I guess what I'm just really trying to convey is such like all the things that the Lord has kind of shown me and everything that he's, you know, just spoken and showed. I just feel like it's all for such a time as now, you know, it's just because we're children of the light and he shows us things that are going to happen before they do. And so I guess with all of that, I just want you guys to be encouraged because I just really sense that like the Lord has really settled things down in our spirits and kind of drowned out the noise, if you will. And it's just allowing us to kind of just rest in him you know, we, we've been, we've been working y'all. Like he's really been working and it's not us doing the work. Like it's him doing the work in us. And I really just feel like we, we really been at work and he's just allowing us to just come to a point of rest because it's time to go. And, um, and so I just hope y'all find some encouragement somehow, some way from all of my blabbing <laughs> this this evening um Jesus really is coming and he confirmed it like I think it was last night that that happened to me last night or the night before just confirmed it again you know it's just like we know but he's just so comforting and such a, a gracious loving God and um 
I just want you guys to, to know he really is coming, guys. And um, y'all just hang in there. Um, be encouraged. I don't know how much more we're going to see. But I just feel like we're coming to a close. And... He's tying up a couple loose ends here and there. Remember, his timing is not our timing. And so, while he may seem, you know, slow, if you will, he's not. His timing is perfect. And um, prophecy has to end somewhere. We, we truly are in the end days. And if we're seeing all these things happen now, if we're seeing the Mark of the Beast system form now... You know, that is something that's going to be... The actual Mark of the Beast is going to be implemented in the last three and a half years of the tribulation so if we are seeing it form now and we are still here we know there has to be obviously the rapture has to happen and the first three and a half years of peace has to happen before those next three and a half years of the tribulation starts and the mark of the beast system is actually implemented so if we're seeing what we're seeing now how close are we to the trumpet really sounding it's just amazing it's mind-boggling that I wake up every morning and I literally like this is the world we live in um it's insane but it's prophecy and we were chosen for such a time as now we could have been anybody you know we could have been born in any time in the world but the Lord chose us for the end days and like it's just it's an honor um many are called but few are chosen and if you are a believer in Christ and you have that faith, you were chosen. And you were literally made for now. So be strong in the Lord. He's got you. We are not strong in our own strength. But the Lord has already equipped us with all the strength that we need. And sometimes I understand like everybody feels like they're on their last leg. I get it. But the Lord is carrying you through. You just keep putting one foot in front of the other and just walk by faith. I know it sometimes don't seem like you know where you're going. Heck, I don't know what I'm doing half the time either. But I know the Lord's got me and he's got you too. So I will see y'all so soon in the clouds. I cannot wait to meet my brothers and sisters and to literally be in eternity with our Father in our true home forever and eternity literally never ends it just keeps going on and on and on and how amazing is that that we will be with our our father our loving father at home forever at peace and in his just surrounded by his love I cannot imagine I cannot wait so you guys have a wonderful um weekend and I'm sure I'll chat with y'all soon see ya